again. It's a red stick. Onward we go to our next destination, which turned out to be Diamond Lake. Now, uh, to get to Diamond Lake, you travel through Queenstown, all the way up the side of Lake Wakatipu, right to Glenorchy. You keep going past Glenorchy, and instead of diverting off towards Kinloch, which is situated right at the tip of Lake Wakatipu, you veer more off straight ahead or to the right and you keep on going. Uh, the tar seal stops and you get onto unsealed road for about 5 k's. Still a good road, it's not rough or anything. And uh, you get to Diamond Lake. This is a dock camp as you can see in the background and um, I probably really call it a car park more than a camping ground. So, um, with uh, usual with Doc, this camp is eight dollars per person per night. Uh, long drop toilets only, no water, and uh, but we are right beside a gorgeous lake. Uh, we do have our dock passes, which um, apply here. So, uh, just like at um, Avora Lakes, there is no cell phone or internet coverage here. Um, so, just the way we like it, really. We've got TV reception though, so it's not all, not all is lost. Not all is lost. Um, so, we are just a couple of kilometres from a little place called Paradise, and Scotty and I have been to Paradise many a times in our travels around New Zealand. So, we might actually just go for a wee ticky tour and find Paradise tomorrow. So Scotty and I have often muttered on our journeys, I think we found paradise, but now it's official, we have reached paradise. Woken up at Diamond Lake to around minus four, minus five, and um, really the cold has become the new norm for me, and I've taken to it okay. It's not as big a shock as what it, it was initially, and you adapt and you do get used to it a little bit. <laughs> Um, we have been asked quite a bit on social media about how we cope in our caravan in freezing conditions and the things that we do to mitigate any problems with regards to water pipes bursting and freezing. So before we retire at night we turn our water pumps off and then we drain our pipes and we drain them into the kettle for our coffees in the morning. Uh, we have a big jug of water sitting next to our toilet for flushing, so we just flush the bowl, um, pour water down there when we need to, um, and we have drink bottles full of water. So we don't actually turn our pump on the next day until um, the freezing temperatures have subsided. And we also have a collapsible 10 litre water container um, usually sitting in the base of the shower that we pull in and out when we need to just for emergencies or in case we need to top anything up and we can't because we don't want to turn our water pipes on, our pumps on to put water through the pipes. Uh, we also lay a towel over the top of the gas regulator, over the top of our gas bottles. Uh, we are on LPG heating so um, yeah, just that's just to stop the regulator from freezing um, during the night. Our, um, our gas heating uh, is on a timer. We set the timer to come on around about 5, 5.30 in the morning, sometimes 6 o'clock, and that just makes sure that the air temperature is nice and warm for when I get out of bed to turn the billy on for my coffee. Uh, we, don't, we don't need to have the heaters on during the night, we find. Um, 
That also mitigates any problems with condensation. Uh, that is another major problem for some people in the winter. Uh, we get a little bit of condensation um, around the base of the walls in our bedroom. But apart from that, our windows are always clear and uh, we don't get it on the roof or in the cupboard. So we are very fortunate. Um, that just can be another problem for winter camping. Glen Orkey Hotel. They allow self-contained camper vans to park in their car park. Well, and caravans, obviously, because we're here. Um, they don't have a charge if you just want to park up and um, not be hooked onto power. If you want power, you have the option to pay $12 per night. And all they ask is that you go in and um, have a meal or drinks or um, and just, just uh, purchase some of their facilities that they provide. We don't usually have a problem in doing that when we're staying at pubs, to be honest. Thank <laughs> you. 